Welcome to a high budget, no expense spared, dump out the box review of Ravel's Corvette C7R in 125th scale. Uh, start with the body. It's a uh, nice clean moldings. Um, the body had some very minor mold seams on the nose. The body had sink marks at the rear of the fender by the uh, tail light recesses, but uh, those were easily fixed. Just filled them with super glue, let it harden, sanded it flush, and it looks good now. The uh, vents on the body are blocked off. They're molded solid. They're not see-through. But for a kit that's going to cost you between twenty to twenty-five dollars, that's not an unreasonable way of doing things. Um, the hood is separate and the fit of the hood is quite nice. You can see that the gap is even all the way around. Uh, if you're wondering what the dark spots are, the hood was originally mounted with four locating pins. Um, they were great for lining up the hood, but they didn't actually secure the hood. So what I've done is I taped the hood in place and drilled up through the bottom to enlarge the holes going up through the hood. And basically I filled the holes with rare earth magnets so that the hood is uh, secure now. If you decide to do that, make sure that your magnets are just below the surface of the hood so that you can sand the filler flush without actually sanding the magnet which would make a horrible mess. Uh, another potential problem with the body these doors are separate pieces and uh, they drop into a recess on the body and they're held there by two locating pins that are a very snug fit. Um, on my example the doors didn't sit flush with the rest of the body. They were proud just a little bit. So I had to enlarge the holes for the locating pins so that I could get the doors on and off easily and scraped away the front and back of the recess to make it a little bit deeper so the door would sit flush. There is a, a complete engine for the kit. It's very nice detail on the engine with some very elaborate intake parts. The uh, valve covers even have the Corvette logo on them, but uh, you'll probably never see them again. Once you have the engine complete, these uh, very large intake parts go on top, and uh, basically they'll block the view of most of the engine. Going back to the interior, you can see there's some uh, nice detail molded into the interior tub. You get a nice driver's seat. Um, there are no belts molded on the seat and no driver to stick in the seat so if you worry about such details you'll have to make your own. Very nice dashboard and there are decals for the instrumentation. One possible pitfall when assembling this kit is uh, when you get to step 8 in the instructions you have this uh, framing piece that's supposed to fit over the engine bay and the instructions seem to imply that it fits on top of this notch in front of it but if you do it that way you'll never get the dashboard on and the body will not drop down all the way. So you have to hook it underneath the tab on the back of the firewall and it fits that way. The suspension of the kit is very simplified. You basically just get the lower A arms and uh, some brake detail. But the bottom of the kit is just a flat plate. So, once it's assembled, you won't see much of the suspension anyway. Um, it's engineered like a snap-together kit. Um, the wheels will be supported by steel rod axles, uh, one of them passing through the engine bay. 
Generally, there's uh, very little flash on any of the kit parts. These uh, wheel moldings are very clean. Clear parts, you get uh, red tinted tail lights. And the headlights are separately bagged so they don't scratch the cabin glass. And you'll notice the cabin glass is pre painted, which uh, should definitely make things easier. Hopefully, it all fits well. I haven't tried that yet. Um, one thing I notice about the paint is that it is flat. And there will be some decals, or at least one decal, across the top here with the Corvette logo. So, may have to gloss coat the glass to get the decal to go down without uh, silvering. The decals look very nice. Um, you get nice tire logos. Um, not sure if it shows up well in the video, but there's actually a carbon fiber effect on these uh, decals for the tail fin. And the stripe down the center is actually two-tone with uh, some very faint graphics on there. Well, that concludes part one of this review. I hope you're finding it useful so far. In the next video, we'll finish this bad boy. See you then. Bye.